Aloha. You're watching F5 On Demand. I'm Technical Marketing Manager Peter Silva. We're here in Vegas at the Mandalay Bay Convention Center for SharePoint Conference 2012, booth 916. If you're in town or at the show, come on by. So yesterday I had gone through the top seven questions here that we've been asked in the F5 booth. And you know, one of the things I thought would be interesting, because you know the hamsters are always running up here for whatever reason, but I thought it'd be cool to see since enabling secure remote access to SharePoint and enabling single sign-on session authentication were two of the top seven questions that we have gotten over the last couple of days that would be kind of cool to answer those questions in a video. And All right, I've been having some audio slash microphone issues this trade show, so for the next 90 seconds, consider this your director's commentary track. So I move from the center area to our monitor demo pod area within the F5 booth to catch up with Greg Coward. He's our business development solution engineer for our Microsoft relationship. Now yesterday, we created a video to deploy SharePoint with the big IP or the F5 IAP template. So deploying SharePoint behind a big IP using the IAP template. And then today, we're now going to be adding the secure remote access, so encrypted tunnels for remote users and single sign-on, so ease of use for the end user to get into their SharePoint into their SharePoint resources. And so here you can see he's showing first the AAA servers, the AAA configuration using Active Directory and the domain controllers along with the admin username and password. Here he's clicking on the single sign-on configuration. You can see it's real easy with the links to the left and then you can go in and configure it to the right. And audio is back, so take it away, Greg. Features. And put them all together, we use the Visual Policy Editor. This is the meat. This is the meat of APM right here, ladies and gentlemen. So what we've created here, we have our logon page, uh, which can be very customizable, actually. You can make it actually look just like a SharePoint screen if you wanted to. But right now, we're just using our default logon page. We have our AD auth element, our Active Directory element. And then we kind of branch off into our different trees. So if our Active Directory authentication is successful, then we're going to do our single sign-on credential mapping. And then we're going to allow access. If not, we're going to deny access. And so I noticed you might you so organizations might have a couple AAA servers within their environment. Right. And so if you click on this once, and then you're able to then select right which server you'd like to um, tag for lookups. You bet. And the nice thing about VP is it's super customizable. We can actually combine a number of different AA servers, different authentication providers in here. On one sign-on one sign-on page, so basically your users can be directed to the proper AD authentication property, or excuse me, element, depending on where they're coming in from. Yeah, and so even employees could go through AD this fallback. They're not a contractor partner comes in. They're not going to be in AD the fallback. We add another authentication mechanism here, an LDAP, a Radius, or something. Yeah, that's and that's one way to do it. That's one yeah. way. And if you're doing multi-factor authentication, you're going to have AD auth here, and then you can have them fall into something like certificate, like an on-demand certificate authentication as well. Now, say we say we want to add an endpoint check, an endpoint security check to that host. And that's actually really common. A good way to do that, and you see the little plus signs here, we just click on the plus sign, and we're going to add a new element. So let's go down and do a client-side check. We'll do an antivirus check. Add item. And here, we're going to look at an antivirus ID. So we can choose from a number of different providers, or we can choose any provider. And their state, whether it's enabled, the version, most commonly here is database A, so we want to make sure that their virus definitions are up to date. So we're going to say if they're within three days, we're good. Click on save. You notice now we've created a whole other branch. Yep. So if they go through the AV check after being authenticated, they go through the AV check after antivirus is up to date, we'll do the single sign-on mapping and let them through. If not, we'll do a deny. We can also at this point redirect them. So we could send them off to, say, to semantic site where they can get their latest updates. Uh, we can direct them to a, just a splash screen that says, hey, your antivirus aren't up to date, you need to do something about it. Any number of options for you. And even add scripting to do auto-remediation. You know, put them onto an auto-remediation yeah. server through yeah. a script and then have it done automatically for them. Very common usage. Yep. And that's all there is to it. Then, last but not least, this is where I was busily working on. 
So we had created this virtual server yesterday, and now it's been sitting there for you know a day, right. and now we're adding you know this piece to it. So right. So I've created my access profile, got all the elements ready to go, and now I'm coming down here now. Is just adding my access profile update. That's it. We're in business, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. All configured. So we got SharePoint now running on the back end, configured through LTM, yep. providing the high availability traffic management, and we've now added the secure remote access, so SSL VPN for remote users, plus single sign-on yep. to make that user experience that much easier, nicer, more enjoyable. And endpoint inspection, so we're also checking the antivirus levels as well. Great stuff, Greg. Cool, very cool. Thanks for joining us again. So, a little add-on to our video yesterday. That video, by the way, is on this page, but I believe it's either one or two down from here. So just scroll down the thing and you'll find it. So for Greg, I got Helen behind the lens. Thank you, Helen. I'm Peter, and we're with F5 Networks. Thanks for watching.